song you never heard of. Hey everybody, welcome to the Common Folk Podcast with Ben, Morgan, and Andy. Welcome back to Common Folk. Hey, good morning. It's a morning. It is a morning. We're shifting gears here. Yeah, Andy's drinking coffee out of that damn Yeti again. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. It's a big frig. Big frig, sorry. And it's custom. Look at that. Well, I say that because remember we talked about if you drink out of those, Mm -hmm. then it's kind of stained, I can see. But Mm -hmm. you'll put water in it later. Yeah. And then alcohol tonight in the same one. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Just keep it rotating. Yeah, that's how it works. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you start with coffee, and then you transition into like those uh, those hard teas. Uh, oh, the twisted teas. Yeah, twisted yep. teas. Yeah. You Do you yeah. actually ever drink water during the day? Because this guy uh, over here doesn't really drink I much drink water. At, I drink it at night. I know the it's day. like yeah. I drink two or three of these big guys a day. Wow, wow. Ashley does that. Uh, Do you, so no. So is that a guy thing that you I guys don't just know. don't drink? Yeah. I mean, do you want flavor or what? I feel like the water thing's overrated. Like, there's. (laughs) I mean, hello, there's science behind it. No, there there was there's science behind a lot of things. Okay, the the science. Let's hear it. What What do you? I'm just saying. Like, I see these people carrying around like milk jugs of water. No, that's 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 too much. What's the difference? Okay, they're pounding it. That's the whole point. They're pounding it. But all that ends up happening is you just pee all the time. Yeah. You're hydrated. Then you're flushing uh, vital nutrients, vitamins, you know, out with the waste. So See, it's, oh, yeah, it's more no. detrimental. Oh, I yeah. need stuff in me. I mean, well, then eat another apple. There's a lot of water in apples, you know. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what. Yeah, I just eat more. Oh, right, because <laughs> your water. size is is totally <laughs> telling. Not well, my my point being is there is a lot of water in the foods that we eat. You mm-hmm. know, so. Yeah. Okay, you guys are all just justifying your it's BS. Science. It's right. science. Yeah. It's science. Oh, God. It's science. I'm just, I just, I follow the science. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I drink, figured. I drink a couple cups of water a night, usually. I know. I just don't understand why you wouldn't do it during the day. Well, and uh, there's also a lot of water in beer. Like, it's the number one thing in beer. It really you know, is. Water, so. Yeah. Mm. Figure if I have six beers, I'm getting. <laughs> You're five getting and a half two water. glasses especially, of water, <laughs> especially when it's coarse light. It comes from the Rockies, mm. so it's like all natural, the cleanest oh, water on the planet. Duh. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Gall. Yeah. Oh, what, what are you drinking over there? You want me to go get you a beer? About... You want me to go get you a beer, Morgan? No, no. It's too <laughs> early. It's too early. I can't do that. Whatever. Yeah. Well, what are we talking about today, guys? I was gonna call you kids. You guys are acting like kids. <laughs> we're uh, we're talking about you. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, your big trip. We we were alluding to it in uh, past episodes and kind of building up to it, uh, and then talking with Kim with the Nebraska Brewing Company. Uh-huh. She went on a march, a hike of her own. Yeah. So like, uh, uh, that was interesting. How you were asking her questions, like, well, I got this one coming up, right? Uh, you know, and I think we've. Uh, We've already said Morgan's going to be our representative mm. next year in the 50-mile yep. march. Yep. Speaking of that, so. this past Sunday, we went to their reveal of, like, how much money they got. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, so we went, and it was at the off at, what's it called, Stratcom? No. Yeah, the, uh, sac, the sac museum. museum. Mm-hmm. Okay, So yeah. they had that, um, you know, I had applied for this next year mm-hmm. to walk. It would be 2024 in august so guys we found out there's like 191 people that have applied and they're only taking 100 mm. so okay so this is not a shoe win no um so we'll just see so we'll have to keep the audience updated so you guys were out there by ashland nebraska the spare na- spare space and air museum That's yeah. The, yeah 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 it was cool i've never yeah. been there before it's awesome yeah <clears throat> i actually uh i bought my father a brick uh uh, um, out front there, they have a memorial for servicemen. Oh, oh, cool. Oh. And uh, he did a term in the Air Force, and I just thought it was really kind oh, that of a is cool, cool. cool little memorial for him. And I didn't see that. We surprised him on a – we used to do a golf trip every summer, just the boys and us. Mm-hmm. And there's a really nice golf course nearby. Um, and we we took him to that and showed him. He's like, what are we doing here? What do you want to – you know, and so it was kind of cool. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. I like that. So, you yeah. had never been there either, right? 
No, I haven't. Surprisingly, I mean, it's and it's been there for a while now. So yeah, like how long ago would have that been oh, when you man. bought that brick? Oh, uh, nine. Yeah, maybe even ten years ago now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it's uh, that's the first time I've been in there, and the place is really neat. Like yeah. it's it's uh it's kind of strange when you walk in there that like something that crazy yeah is right here just right there right off yeah. the interstate yeah. and for anybody who you know is from around here uh you'll remember the original sack museum in bellevue did you ever go to that Mm-mm. when i so when i was a kid going to school in bellevue obviously you were up you were northeast yeah. nebraska but um we had uh field trips there all the time mm-hmm. and and sometimes we just go there randomly but mm-hmm. it was just down at off at air force yeah. base uh- you know, okay. all the planes, everything was pretty much outdoor. Right. All the planes were out on, mm-hmm. I don't know, some taxiing runway somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And uh, there was a little in, indoor place, but there wasn't much to that. Uh, but that was always really cool. Yeah. And then they built this crazy facility and yeah. brought everything indoors. Oh, it's it's awesome. I, I, when I walk through that, I think to myself, this is all the stuff that we just hung up and put out there to, like, you know, it's, <laughs> it's retired. Mm-hmm. Then I think, well, what's... <laughs> what's right. in the real hangers now because yeah. this is like the old retired hangar yeah i, I feel like it's intimidating you we were know, you walking know what I mean? out and i didn't know you said something about they retired that one big whatever well when you walk there. in the front door oh, the the, front the, door. the main uh <clears throat> thing the first thing you see is the sr-71 okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah which is the you know that iconic mm-hmm. it's like the fastest thing ever and all this kind of yeah. stuff um and they, I, they did have one when it was down in Bellevue, if I remember correctly. Um, and it was all, everything was painted black. Like it was kind mm-hmm. of early on then. You yeah. couldn't see through the windows. And it was all top secret and all this oh. stuff. Um, yeah. But that plane, I don't think they, they really use that plane anymore. No, no. There's been a number of stealth that yeah. have been out since yeah. them that are yeah. faster, less, you know, don't get picked up by radar and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Super cool though, just right yeah. there in real life. Yeah, it is. It yeah. is. So, so anyway, that so will... you guys have started the process. So we start, well, we got an invite. I got an invite just because I applied. Mm-hmm. So you can go kind of see what happened last year. So they mm. played video, they had speakers, whatever. Um, and then that's when we kind of found out they still have, you know, open applications for this 50-mile walk. All right. Um, and then... Kim had we talked to her a little bit more mm-hmm. and she said that there'll be some Zoom meetings and then you have to do like a ten mile hike with them. Ooh. Like you have to kind of try it. It's like a it. qualifier. Yeah. Hmm. So I think I'm probably good. Yeah. But I better stay fit. So folks who don't um <laughs> know if you hadn't listened, it it was like what our last episode or a couple episodes ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were speaking with Kim from Nebraska Brewing, who is on the board of the Fifty Mile March, mm-hmm. and um, and so Morgan was interested in that. So that that's what that's all about. Um, from and all Lake, the money, I like. Omaha. I mean, it's all going to veterans in this community that they're trying to build. So, mm-hmm. yep, it's so a really cool cause. In in relation to that, what we wanted to talk about today was what you had recently done. Um, what, it, it's called the uh, the rim to rim. Is that right? Yeah, which is funny because I listened to your last podcast that I missed, and you were like, "Yeah, she's going on a walk in the Grand Canyon." <laughs> Isn't that what you did? Yeah, yeah. It's like actually a hike. Oh, and <laughs> I don't really know what the actually, difference is. Actually, you didn't but, even say Grand yeah. Canyon. He goes, "She's on a going on a walk, and it's like a rim to rim." And I was See, like, I "Oh it. my yeah. gosh." Well, what's the difference between a walk and a hike? You, you, you hold a stick and you got. I mean, I feel like hiking shoes. is kind of <laughs> got to be a little bit more treacherous right. than a walk. Like I'm a walk giving, is like a stroll. I'm just giving. So you a I was time. just I was laughing when yeah. you said that. I was like, yeah, that's pretty typical. <laughs> like he actually knows, but he's just saying like, mm-hmm. oh, she's just strolling around. So I'm sure a lot of people <laughs> have heard of this. W- what is it exactly? Because I, I I don't know what it is. Rim to rim hike. So it is um, starting on the north rim, and then you finish on the south. I mean, you can do it the other way. Of the Grand Canyon? Of the Grand Canyon. So you're mm-hmm. actually, so it comes out to be 23.5 miles. So a lot of times people, what we have found out, do this over like a couple days. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you mm-hmm. have crazy extreme runners that do rim to rim to rim. 
Oh, like wow. all in one day. Oh wow! So you have like a gamut of like you can. It's so not. They it's run, not guided. They run forty six miles up and down mm-hmm. the Grand Canyon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jeez. In one day. That sounds crazy. I mean, that's right? like, and and we pass some of these people, you know, when we're yeah, yeah. walking. But really, um, there is a a campsite um, that there's like a year waiting list supposedly. Oh wow! Down in the middle mm-hmm. of it. Um, and people will hike down there, stay, and then, you know, finish the next day. But my mm-hmm. dad, who is 72, I always like to say that because, you know, I mean, 72 is getting up there. Yeah. And we're not yeah. talking about 90s. But a lot of 72-year-olds are not hiking a Grand Canyon, um, wanted to do this. And so he asked us in May. So I guess my first question is why? Why Why did he <laughs> want to do this? Uh, and, and it sounded like he's been wanting to do it for a while. Yeah. He went with some of his buddies um, call a few years ago. I don't even know how many years ago. And um, they heard about it. Mm-hmm. And he started, you know, doing it. And one of his buddies couldn't, like, actually finish. So you can go on the north side or you could go on the south side and go down. There's different spots. You mm-hmm. can go down like four miles and there's a little spot and then you could go back up. Well, his buddy didn't, wasn't doing so well. Mm-hmm. They wanted to go further and he couldn't. So my dad oh, went so out with his back. buddy. Okay. Yeah. So it was just kind of something that he, he's pretty competitive and very fit. Yeah. I would say, well, well and in a sense, I mean, it may be not as fit as like he lost 30 pounds training to do this Mm. so i mean he's in shape but Mm -hmm. he wanted to get more in shape okay yeah so what why like what sparked his interest to do this i mean you mentioned his buddy was it his friend that introduced him to this whole thing yeah he was like oh that'd be cool let me just take it to the next i think it's just a thing that people they have a house in arizona so Mm. it's just something people talk about doing and it's something he always wanted to do, he said. Um, and he wanted to do it with us. So me and my sisters, two sisters. So it was us three and my dad. And then my dad's buddy did it 22 years before that. And then I think another other time before that. So he wanted to do it one last time hmm. is what he said. Okay. Yeah. So. So five of you. Went out packing couple old guys <laughs> so three young three chops middle-aged women and, yeah <laughs> okay middle-aged that sounds more like it i want to say young chops yeah we're yeah. not so young yeah. <laughs> yeah so i mean age range i mean 43 to 38 you know me and my sisters and then my i think 72 and then 74 so um mm. it was definitely something that i figured out probably anybody that is in somewhat decent shape Mm -hmm. could do this Hmm. it is going to test you though i mean it's super duper hard yeah i was gonna say the elevation you know you're going down yes up and then up again right 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 i mean we started at like god what is my i think it was like 8600 and then you go down to close to two and then you go back up and end at like seven or something so i mean Hmm. think about that with breathing walking Um, so when I say that, I feel like I've told people that, like, I think anybody kind of in shape can do it, but I mean, I don't know. When I say I'm going to do something, I kind of like take it not to the Mm -hmm. extreme. I'm not extreme. Am I extreme? Um, (laughs) not most of the time. (laughs) Okay. So is that a loaded question? Yeah, that was something. You did a good job with that, Ben. (laughs) That was really good. (laughs) Okay. So maybe I'm, when I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it well. There you go. I have sisters. They both condition different. Mm -hmm. My older sister has five children, works a full-time job, just couldn't get out as much as she wanted, was not as in shape as she wanted to be. My younger sister, she lost like 20 pounds. Oh, wow. um, Worked out at Orange Theory met us for a couple weekends here and there to do long walks. Mm. I just walked and ran a ton and was at the gym Mm -hmm. um, lifting and doing all the things. So I think, I I mean, not I think, everyone knows I was in the best shape um, out of everyone. So was your sister with the the five kids and the busy schedule, was she kind of lagging behind? Yeah. Was she really? I mean, I think we all took a little bit of turns here Mm -hmm. and there, not lagging behind. But um, I would say she probably 
didn't fare the best. Like she had blisters, um, mm. you know, her feet were hurting. Yeah. Just the things that you probably, when you get conditioned. Yeah, that was one thing that Kim said about the the march. Uh, take care of your feet. Mm-hmm. Get special specialized shoes yeah. that fit. You yeah. Know? Um, like I would never think of doing something like that. Yeah, and I think but, we all did that. Yeah. I mean, we all got you know, the backpacks and got fitted for shoes and, you know, Mm. all the things. But, I mean, you got to use them. I felt like a decent amount beforehand. Mm -hmm. You know, like I lost a toenail, like my big toenail in training. Mm. I mean, there's things that are going to happen. I had a couple blisters early on. So I think if I didn't keep conditioning your body to know what's coming, then, of course, you're going to get that. We all finished. We had a great time. It was freaking beautiful is that is that just a one day start at 7 a.m end at like 9 p.m type of deal or how does that work yeah so we started at 5 a.m and really wanted to get it done in 12 hours i mean it should be super doable we had a couple hiccups with some people not eating enough food um and really just kind of hitting a wall and it just did not fare well for them so we really had to take a good hiatus um and break so we ended up we started with headlights on and we ended with headlights on. oh wow so it took us like 13 and a half hours Hmm. um so longer than we expected Hmm. so in my head and my dad's competitive head we're like oh we should try this again so back to your father wanting to put this whole thing together was was he just always an outdoorsman and he just really loves that terrain and that just kind of brings a lot of things together? And then you throw in that not only had he been wanting to do it with his buddies, now he saw an opportunity to do mm-hmm. it with all of his girls. Like, I, I'm, I'm still like, because I ran track in high school and I was decent at it, but I hated it. <laughs> I, hate, I, I hate that stuff. Really? So I, I can't. Uh, it'd be tough for me to be like, hey, why don't you just drain everything and go sweat your ass <laughs> off and yeah. feel miserable for a few days. Right. And then feel miserable uh, training leading up to it. <laughs> like, you know, you know a, when you put tough, it like that, that is a, a little pit. bit crazy. It's a tough pitch for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of when Christina Elder came and she was talking about, you know, conditioning oh, for things. And she's like, I'm just a workhorse. Why do I like to do that? I mean, it is kind of weird when mm-hmm. you put it that way. I'm not exactly sure. I would say he liked it. He likes outside. Yeah. He used to always be a runner. He ran track Mm -hmm. um, in college and played basketball. Um, So he's just an athlete, I would say, in general. Mm. But um, he plays pickleball all the time and golfs. So I don't know. You know what I mean? I'm not exactly sure. I never really asked him what it was that led him to. He just said he really wanted to do this with us. That's cool. um, Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when he asked, I was like, heck yeah, I didn't know anything about it. Yeah. I just said yes. And uh, I'm not much of a researcher. I actually like the less information, the better. Hmm. I know. He thinks it's so weird. So, yeah, but you had to get like some so you knew what to expect. And Well, I had some, but I think even just in general, like, I don't know. I mean. Just dive in. Just do it. Yeah. Like. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know it's going to be 24 miles. It's Mm -hmm. going to be hard. Like, figure it out. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, I can hear story after story, but then it just starts psyching me out. So I don't really want to hear your story. I don't really want to read about it. Mm -hmm. I really just, how about I just go do it? Yeah. Uh, I just want to be in good enough shape to go, like, pheasant hunting, deer hunting. like Yeah, so you walk a lot doing that. I I do. I do. Um, uh, But I don't know. I guess I've been fortunate enough to where... I'm, my health has never been an issue. Yeah. You know, and, and I'll get tired, but we can always justify that too. Like, oh, I'm sure the dogs are really tired, so we better take a break. Yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, so, so you blame it on the dogs. Well, I mean, That's they got to take a break too. You they take care of them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I remember I was guiding a turkey hunt with these good old boys out of Alabama, and we had to get up a real steep, steep incline. Uh, and I'm just trucking away, which I was still in my thirties and maybe late twenties at the time. And I'm just hiking right up this and it was vertical. It was tough. And I yeah. knew it was, but I didn't show him like that I was sweating it at all. And then finally a guy just stops and starts glassing the river below. <laughs> He's like, I don't really care to look down there. I just knew that my buddy needed a break <laughs> and he did. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm glad you guys stopped because <laughs> right. I'll enjoy it. But yeah. You know, so I don't know. It, it's it's one of those things where it's a balance. Uh, if I if if I was trying to do something like that, I would be a little freaked out. Like I would want to 
get out and train and probably go on hikes. Yeah. You know, just to be ready for it. Like, that was mm-hmm. my thing. I think it was just more or less I knew the elevation was mm-hmm. going to be a factor. Yeah. So if you train harder or like our neighborhood or, you know, in the neighborhood has tons of different hills and yeah. out here it's and then hilly. we would go, yeah. um, you know, hike at Fontenelle Forest. Mm-hmm. So just different things like that. I mean, you just try to put yourself in those conditions. You can't really mimic it. Like you yeah. can't get. Well, the scenery had to been awesome. Elevation. Tell me about that. Yeah. Oh, but, my gosh. I mean, it's just different. You yeah, know, uh, I get the same from people that we bring from Maryland or California. We'll bring them here, it's like, oh my god, it's so beautiful! Like, mm-hmm. It's a hillside full of trees, <laughs> you know. But that's yeah. just because we're conditioned to yeah. it. You Maybe know? that's it. Have you ever been to the Grand Canyon? No. Either mm-hmm. of you? Oh, no. when you were younger. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we uh, the South Dakota trips and all that, which is I feel like very similar. Mm-hmm. And I think we've been to the four spots, you know, where all four states come together. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I think I, I think I've been there. No, it's just really, oh, I don't know. I, I'm not great with describing things. It was just really spectacular. It's just something you can't even imagine. I mean, the waterfalls to just the different terrains, the just the huge boulders. I mean, you just can't even believe you're going through. I mean, they had to like plow some paths through mm-hmm. rocks for the mm-hmm. hike to be able to continue. Um, so just, I don't know. I just loved it. It was it was awesome. But it was. Yeah. What's so. uh you you said it was twenty four miles? Yeah. So close it's twenty four miles, you have all those elevation changes, all that kind of stuff. And you've touched on it a little bit, but what does training look like to get ready for that? Well, I think it was different for everyone, you know? Like Well how about for you? I mean for me, I just slowly started um working out, walking and running a good decent amount, I would say four four days ish. Mm-hmm. And then I went to the gym and just kept lifting and kept working out there um, twice a week. And so then six weeks leading up to when we were going to go, um, we started doing long walks and hikes um, on Saturdays. And we would put in anywhere from 18 to 20 miles mm. just so your body's yeah. used to it. Yeah. And some of them were just flat, like super flat. We didn't even like carry our poles. The other ones, we just hiked a ton of hills yeah. um, and different trails. So, again, I think, I mean, you can Google anything. There were different things. Mm-hmm. You know, my dad sent us different training schedules and whatever. But I mean, anyone's <laughs> going to do, yeah. again, like just with us three sisters, we all did something different. We all finished. I felt really strong at the end. I probably, I mean, of course, tired. Could have kept going. Just super proud of myself. Yeah. I mean, so were my sisters. They're super excited too. But I'm sure, you know, maybe they wanted to change something or even me. Like I could have done something more, you know. Did you change your diet at all? Um, I mean, yes, in a sense of, um, I mean, I'm going through a few random things just diet wise anyways just from some issues that i've like health Mm. issues that i've had Mm -hmm. so um but not me particularly like Mm. but my my little sister like i said lost lots of weight and my dad did too that's crazy Mm -hmm. um in six months or whatever but i mean i think that seems pretty healthy you know 20 pounds six months yeah yeah Yeah, i mean I, I I would have a tough time losing twenty pounds. Like I just don't have twenty you pounds. Yeah, you um, got twenty pounds. And you know? You're a schmedium. Like <laughs> so, you ain't you ain't losing so, any more weight. Um, but <laughs> yeah, if anything, I, I'm always taking like the weight gainer stuff. You know, when I get on a supplement or get on a, a health kick or whatever. Mm-hmm. I was just so. gonna say, do you think when he gets to be our age, I always think he's not our age. He's gonna start <laughs> gaining weight. <laughs> Andy's our age, guys. Pretty much our age, yeah. I was, I was told. When that, are you uh, gonna get big? Andy? I was told that a while ago. They're like, oh yeah, you're gonna get a gut. You're gonna do this. You're gonna do that. And I just always, I always thought to myself, no, I'm not. Maybe <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, no, do you not I'm eat not. much? I don't know. I feel like I eat just as much as the next guy. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I just do like the bare minimum things. Like I don't try not to overeat. Even that is pretty tough because. Uh, we always have really good ice cream in the freezer. <laughs> of ice cream. Uh, that's how I grew up, you yeah. know. And, and Ozzy and Kimber now they they oh can't go to bed yet. Treat time like just history repeating itself. They need mm-hmm. a treat every yeah. night. Oh yeah. Did yeah. we do that? Uh, no. I mean, I uh-uh. feel like we did some treats, but. I mean, it was we definitely didn't have like a nightly treat thing at all. The kids uh, like ice cream too. Lucky, yeah. lucky you guys. But oh. I mean, that's well, they, the kids obviously keep you running and yeah, keep you active, right? 
Yeah, yeah. so maybe when yeah. they're, yeah, because you got littles. Uh, I'll tell you something that really helped me out was how active my father was growing up. And so, like, I would emulate that. I okay. mean, he, he refereed basketball. He refereed football. He has this 25-year plaque for each, you know, from okay. the state. Um, and he was a big outdoorsman like your father. And so, like, what you see is what you do, mm-hmm. you know. And, yep. um, and for whatever reasons, like, when we would deer hunt, a lot of people just, you know, just go to a spot and sit all day. And that's not how our dad would do it. Like, it was a chore. He would be hiking. He'd be running up and down. He'd be trying to push deer out of thickets, you know. And, and so that's kind of how we approached it. And you can argue if it's the right way to do it or the wrong way. That I'm, that's fine. Mm-hmm. And whatever. But mm-hmm. I'm just saying it was very taxing. Okay. So you had to be in shape. And if you weren't, you were going to get in shape yeah. <laughs> for those two weekends, which that's interesting, too, because that's a big weekend where everyone's getting together, drinking beer and eating jerky right <laughs> you know and right and then you throw that on top of it where it's a really mm-hmm. so i don't know i think all those different little things coming together just kind of help me stay in shape there you go so but. yeah so back to your um your walk what <laughs> i call it your walk in there <laughs> my walk uh what did you have to take in with you food wise I mean, every, everything. everything yeah Oh, um, well, we had to start off with headlights and it was 38 degrees. So we were pretty chilly. So we definitely were layered um, gloves, you know, the backpack and you have your bladder mm-hmm. in there. And it was like two and a half gallons of water and they have water stations along the way. But you have to call the park ranger like the night before to see which um, ones they filled up basically or which ones are operating. Um, mm-hmm. And then all of our snacks. So, I mean, everyone took different stuff. Like, like I had jerky and... Granola bars Yes, and granola, stuff. Okay. peanut butter, peanuts. I mean, all the things that I knew that I could eat. And then um, we had these, they're like salt electrolyte chews, basically, um, that help you stay mm-hmm. hydrated or whatever. And those were clutch, like super clutch. Like mm. I was handing them out like candy to people that were like could not make it up the last three and a half miles because that was where you die basically the last four miles is killer what kind of an incline is that it's i'm not exactly sure i really don't know but it's it's a bunch of switchbacks so you do have that but it's just it does not stop Hmm. you feel like Mm -hmm. how can we keep going yeah (laughs) um and it just keeps going and that that's the slowest part the oh, absolute bad. slowest and you just want to get done <laughs> so bad didn't you did you take that uh those bison sticks yeah so uh those were good dakota pure so bison so good we've talked about yeah. them here everybody they, ate them cuz i ordered some and then i gave them to everybody they sent us a bunch of stuff to try we did it a while ago yeah. on the yeah. podcast. Yeah, no, those are great. Went through all those different flavors and stuff. Yeah, those things are awesome. And yeah. that, that's lean. That's lean it protein. It was super good. It could be perfect for that. So and I the way it. those guys do it is uh, there's no filler in it. Like, it's mm-hmm. not like pork and mm-hmm. bison. It's straight up bison. When you're dealing with an animal, basically a wild animal like that, you don't need that. Because yeah. that's, that, that's the flavoring that all of our processed foods are trying to emulate. Mm-hmm. You know what okay. I mean? Like, that's what's going on yeah. with a lot of those powders and seasonings. Yeah, so that was super good. Definitely had the jerky, nice. ate that. Um, well, how much, okay, so you had the two and a half gallons of water. That's uh, whatever that equals out to. That's heavy, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, like, and then your how, backpack's yeah, pretty heavy. How heavy was that? Because you had clothes and all these So we're food. probably carrying a good 15 pounds on your back, I would say. Hmm. Um, it depends on how much you had mm-hmm. in there you know um but yeah so it was uh i don't think i needed to fill up till lunch water wise i had a a big power a2 on mm-hmm. the side of my pack um just in case but yeah i mean i think god it's crazy when you see people because they would be walking and you know they're doing the same thing as you mm-hmm. and they we ran into this um one lady And she, they came from, they lived in Hawaii. Um, Anyway, she didn't speak very good language. I'm not exactly sure um, what nationality she was, but she wanted to leave her group because they were taking so long. Mm. And these poor ladies literally had like school backpacks. I'm not kidding. Like one had like an embroidery name on it. Like a Pokemon one? (laughs) Like we're not talking like they should be trucking 
24 miles. They yeah. absolutely did way less research than me. Um, she said that they had got off a bus and decided to do this hike. Oh, no. Like, what? I don't even think I could do it. Like, <laughs> I don't even, I wouldn't even just feel like, good about it right now. Just go yeah. jump in there. I don't, so, yeah, no probably way. Not. so this lady, you could tell, was super in shape. I mean, she was mm-hmm. really had it together. She actually had the same kind of backpack as us. Didn't have great shoes, but was in like shape. Mm-hmm. And she asked if she could come walk with us because she knew that her friends were not going to make it out. Um, and they had headlights, but she didn't. Um, and so it was starting to get darker. So she hiked the last, I think, three with us. Hmm. Um, and I don't know how long she was going to be sitting at the end. So. <laughs> you mentioned that like people get down there and then they can't get out and even your dad's buddy like are there like burrows or there little donkeys down there to take people out or like what is <laughs> what is are there rain like yes is there... so we did pass some donkeys mm-hmm. but they were like holding people that paid on a trail oh um, so... are they pulling like little wagons no maybe but we could they... do that <laughs> like I... i'd be down with that yeah I mean, they had packs on them, so supposedly <laughs> to get anything down there, that's how they take everything mm-hmm. down there is by mules um, or donkeys. But we did part pass two rangers, and she did tell them um, to look for these, you know, Asian women that looked like her, and hmm. they're not going to make it out. And actually, when we were done, it started getting really cold again. Yeah. So, like, we started, it was cold. It got close to 90 degrees, and we're at the bottom. So, we're, like, bloody hot, mm-hmm. right? And yeah. in the middle of the canyon, the yeah. hottest point, the hottest p- Whoa. You hear that? Big helicopter coming over. Yeah. Watch out. What? Looking not, for you. Not too far from uh, off at Air Force Base. Yeah. So, there's always something cooking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um. And so my sister gave her her headlight because she was going to have to wait at the end. And she hoped that she could get a ride back on the bus. You guys sound like you were at everyone's mom's <laughs> giving out headlights, oh, we little uh, electrolyte chews we to everybody. Were. It was just like <laughs> this other one lady was really not not in the best shape and just mm. really hitting a wall and i was like you need these shoes and just like dumping them in her hands Jeez. i bet it'd be crazy to be a ranger out there like some of the stuff oh, those guys see my god oh i bet and so the crazy thing is is um we got dropped off by my dad's other friend mm-hmm. right so he dropped us off on the north side took four hours to drive i was gonna say drive to the other it. side wow you know obviously he <clears throat> well beat us there but this lady took a bus, got dropped off, and then was hoping to get on the bus again on the other side. But the last pickup was at seven, mm. and so, I don't think they were going to make it out. So I just interesting geez. to know, like, where did these five people sleep? Like, oh what? Yeah, I mean, get, well, it was a low. Like, I mean, it was right around freezing. If if you yes. started the walk at thirty eight degrees, yes. that's mm-hmm. probably about what the low was. It was cold, yeah. and we got done at like six forty five, mm-hmm. and they were well behind us. They were not making a seven o'clock yeah. bus. So crazy. you know, at that point, it's like our car's already full. Like we mm-hmm. couldn't have hauled five women anyways. Yeah. But I, I don't know. So. People Jeez. do come not prepared. Yeah. We were very much prepared, but you just have to remember what happened with my dad as he was so en- engulfed in like the scenery and looking around that mm-hmm. he didn't really eat much along the path. Mm. And that ended up being bad because you have to keep eating. Yeah. Well, that was, <laughs> yeah. Kim was talking about that you on know. the 50 mile march. Like, yeah, you she need did to, say that. You need to have a donut, you know, get those carbohydrates. Up. I just remember yeah. thinking I am not even close to hungry, but I better eat. Just eat. Right. Just it eat. seems like that preparedness is just like a, a parallel for life. You know, you, you've got so mm-hmm. many people who, whatever the situation is, like they've thought about it. They've, yeah, you know, run the scenarios down. They've got their stuff that, you know, whatever. I mean, it could be anything. Yeah. And you've got all these people that are just like blindly into oh, stuff. Oh, that looks neat. And right. when the shit really I like hits, nature. Yeah. <laughs> when the shit really hits the fan, then it's yeah. like, 
now all those people are like, oh my God, can the people who were prepared come yeah. save me? Well, yeah. That's, that's crazy. Even the, the one woman that was prepared didn't even have a headlight there. Like, so she was I physically know. there. But her friends had all the gear. Like, how? what a weird mishmash. I know. And we passed them a couple times because, like, you can stop. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you pass the same people. And they're recognizable, especially from this backpack. It was was definitely a little kid's backpack. It was just not something you would (laughs) carry on a hike. Like, ours have clips and it's sitting on your hips. I mean, it's just, like, legit a hiking backpack. Mm -hmm. And um, one of them just had shoes. And I thought, oh, my God hiking in those oh <gasps> like what are your feet going to be like so i feel like i came in like in the middle range of being prepared mm-hmm. you know enough to know yeah but definitely not where they were at yeah like that was extreme yeah. so so what would you now that it's all done and mm-hmm. you went through the whole process and everything is there anything that you would change as far as you know how you how you prepped for it or anything that you brought in with you or um, anything like that I mean, I think I could have maybe ran or walked a little bit more. I honestly, I don't, I don't want to sound cocky here, but I felt like at the end, I just, I think when I called you too, I was like, oh my god, I feel so good. Like I just, nice. I, the I way got you should this. have felt, right? Like, yeah, like, like I am wanted to. tired, but yep. nothing was killing my calves. I would work out my calves more for some reason. There, when we went down, for you go down fourteen miles. Yeah. I mean, you're, there's like a lot of weight. A lot of people's knees were hurting. Oh, I bet. My knees were not hurting, but for some reason, my calves were just really starting to get kind of tight. I wouldn't say crampy, but I could feel it. That's a different style of walking, too. You know, when, I mean, when you're walking yeah. down, you know, the, the incline. Like yeah. at some points, we kind of had to turn. There were so many big step downs off of boulders and different things that you kind of mm. had to turn to the side and step to the side mm. rather than just go straight down. I mean, wow. we're talking big steps. Sounds, sounds legit. And this is in the dark, <laughs> no. you know. So I think clo- um, poles were super clutch. At times we have pictures and we're like walking just flat and you use them and you're mm. like, you don't really need them. But when you're going up or going down, they were really helpful. So hmm. I don't know necessarily if I would change too, too much. Um I feel like I trained in my clothes that I was going to wear. I think that was smart because then you know what's going to chafe, what's not, you know, all the yeah. things. Like yeah, yeah. You, you, the, the exact same socks. Mm-hmm. You're wearing those shoes. You're wearing those pants. I figured out a couple different sports bras weren't great and found one. You know, just mm-hmm. like all the things that yeah, you yeah. don't really think about. But in my head, I just thought, I'm going to oh, be in this for yeah. 12 plus hours. I've got to know it's going to work. Mm-hmm. So on those long be walks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. But I, this is like the most talking I've ever done. I don't know if I like just talking. It's interesting. I, I like, like it when you guys talk. It's interesting. Like, I don't, I, you know, it you don't want to go do it because I want to do it again. It sounds fun. And I bet I would really enjoy it. Um, it probably falls into that category, Ben, where. Uh, I'll do it once, and I'm glad I did it. Yeah, you know, but that was enough. And never again. <clears throat> well, and I don't want to say never again, but okay, m- maybe move the target or do something a little different. Mm. Ben, know, I think I you could totally even do this. I mean, I would like Andy was saying. I would definitely have to train. Like I, I mm-hmm. couldn't like right now just jump in and go do that. I, I mean, I wouldn't be comfortable doing that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I I know if I decided I wanted to do it, I could. Yeah. Um. And, and I think it would be cool, like, you know, the outdoor stuff and the scenery and those kinds of things, I'd, I mm-hmm. would like that. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, seeing the river and all the stuff and how all yeah. that works down it there. It is really and, cool. Um, but, you know, as far as, like, the physical challenge and that, it for me, that doesn't, like, do a whole lot for me. Mm-hmm. Where, like, it does for you. Yeah. You want that challenge. You want that physical thing. Like, oh, I beat this, you know, mm-hmm. I'm done, you yeah. know, I got you, whatever. Yeah. For me, it would be like, yeah, no, that'd be cool. Like, it'd be neat to mm-hmm. say, like, I did it and everything, but yeah. I'd be more about kind of the, the outdoor side yeah. of it, I think. Yeah. I, I Something that we're kind of gearing up for, and I, I want to do it, and I got to get with uh, with Garrett, you know, our my hunting guy. Um, we have a lot of sharp-tailed grouse mm. up around Lynch, mm-hmm. and they are hard to get to. Like, you either step on them in the morning, and they scare the hell out of you, oh. you know, get into your deer stand, or... 
they they flush out within a quarter mile, you know, like mm-hmm. you're just way off in the distance. You just step foot in the pasture and they're, they're mm-hmm. gone. Uh, now that I got my dog back, I want to walk, and you're going to have to walk a long ways, but it's in beautiful country. It's over top the Niagara River, uh, beautiful rolling hills, you know, native prairie grasses, all that stuff. Um, it, but it's going to be a challenge, you know, to yeah. to actually seal the deal. It's going to be a I don't even know how many miles I'm. That's what I was walk, just gonna say. You know, to 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 get this done. Mm-hmm. But I bet I bet if I walk ten to twelve miles, um, hopefully get a couple opportunities, a couple of shots, and then then you kind of pair that with with the, your reward is, you know, taking your dog out, being part of that, mm-hmm. the experience. But then if you you are fortunate enough to get a sharp tail, you yeah. know, yeah. It is, it's things that go along with that too. I'm right on the cake, yeah. You know, do you think like you know we watch the meat eater or we you know the shows like do you think these big guys that hunt a lot actually train oh yeah big time they, they, they have do. to okay oh. because th- to me that seems Ooh. like they're just hiking up i mean yeah. a lot of those hunts those guys are doing they you know they gotta they gotta hike in mm-hmm. with all of the stuff okay yeah. yeah and then number one they're gonna be hunting but number two it's so far in that they have to stay in there and be healthy and have every right. yeah all yep. that stuff. Be all prepared for that. And then if they get an animal, yeah. Now you've got hundreds and hundreds of pounds mm-hmm. to carry out. To carry out, yeah. Miles and miles and miles. You know. Shoot, I well, didn't even think about that with well, the animal. And like those uh, elk hunting guys, you know, there's a lot of times where, I mean, you're up there in the elements. So now a storm rolls in that wasn't on the forecast. Mm-hmm. So now you got to figure out. You got to hurry up, throw up a tent. Grab a bunch of bunch of wood, figure out a fire, mm-hmm. all those things, you know. So you know, you talk about being prepared. They got to be prepared for like all these different scenarios. A bear. <laughs> what right. happens if a bear yeah. attacks your yeah. camp? You know, yeah. like all these crazy things. And that's yeah, sharp tailed grouse is probably more of my speed. <laughs> that'd be cool though. That'd be <laughs> oh, I love fun. it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but once again, maybe taking a rifle along rather than a, a bow. I don't yeah. know if I'm that extreme yet. You know? Okay, yeah. a bow for grouse. No. Well, people do that now. They do? Yeah. It's crazy, those dudes. Um, oh my gosh. But I'm saying, like, those guys that are bow hunting oh, sure, moose yeah. and elk, elk it's like, it, man, yeah. it's yep. already hard enough. Right. right. I right, just yeah. take my old thunder stick and yeah. get her done. <laughs> get it done. Yeah. So, I guess to kind of close it out, what, uh, so what do you think about all of it? Like, what's your plan now? I don't know. I mean, my plan is I want to do it again. I want to do it quick. Like, Mm. Because, I mean, when I had my watch on before it died, at the highest, my uh, heart rate was at 130. And when I work out hard, it's like at 165. So I know I wasn't even like, you, you I was pushing like it. slowing it down. Okay. You know what I mean? Like to keep up. Wow. Um, so I would like to really push it. And I know you're like, why don't you do something else? I don't know. Like it would just be fun to be able to do this again and quicker. But then I really would like to do that 50-mile march. I mean, 50 miles, Yeah. yes, that's flat, like from Lincoln, Nebraska to Omaha. That last but it's 50 stretch miles. Yeah. up that hill. Yeah. And they're, so, I mean, they're, like, they're spending a whole day on that. Yeah, I it's mean, like 19 hours. I know yeah. some of the video I was watching, Ooh. I was like, oh, those people don't walk slow. Like, I'm fast. Like, I'm a fast person. I do things mm-hmm. fast. I, I just like do 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 like Get her really down. quick. Mm-hmm. So and they all stay together. So that might be a challenge for me to just be like do 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 like we're just yeah. strolling here. But um, I like to move. I don't know. Would would we be able and to Ben's hang like in there a, if we if we tried to do the rim to rim and <laughs> just let her go? Would we be able to hang no. in? No, <laughs> no. He's just go, like a turtle, <laughs> yeah. and I'm like yeah. the hare. He's just slow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we'll 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 get on the side by sides and drive and around, steady. do some sightseeing. Fine with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. I don't know. There's we'll just... do the four hour drive around, right? Yeah, I'm yeah, game. Exactly, yeah. So you'll be the Uber driver. Yeah, we'll kick Ashley out with you. You guys do the rim to rim. Yeah, she would know? probably do that. Oh, she'd love it. We'll bring a cooler and sit on the other end. Yep. Yeah, I think we got a plan. All right. Well, <laughs> off game. <laughs> See what's well, going on. Yeah, it was Thanks, a. Thanks, guys, uh, for asking me about it. My it was little a walk. Big challenge. That was awesome. <laughs> you uh, you spent a lot of time preparing for it. I, I mean, did. months and months. Um, you know, getting up four a.m. Whatever, going and walking yeah. fifteen miles. Um, and I was like, hey, whatever. Like, I know she wants to do it, so yeah. 
Go do it. And you saw it through. So Yeah. Well, thanks for supporting me, honey. Oh, yeah. The family, the kids, myself, we're all proud of you. It was, uh, it was, a, it was a challenge that, you know, you took on and beat it. Yeah. So. Did. Yep. Yep. So we'll see what the next one is. I like working out towards something. Yeah. Having like if I'm goal. just like yeah. working out. Okay, great. But like, what am I working out for? Mm-hmm. Right. Like, so anybody who might have any kind of interest in that or whatever. Um, yeah, reach out. Could shoot you an email, ask you questions. Uh, we talk about my email address all the time. Ben at farmfocused, F-O-C-U-S-E-D dot com. Same for you, Morgan at farmfocused dot com. So if they had any questions directly for you. Yeah. Um, and as always, we need people to get on there, do the subscribing, do the reviews, hit that stuff up, let us mm-hmm. know. We'll send you some free gear. Uh, we need to build that a little bit. So, yeah. so get, get motivated, get on there and do it. Yeah. And, <laughs> and those, uh, those short videos, they just show clips, uh, on YouTube. Yep. You know, just ask questions in the comments and we'll get back. For sure. Yeah. You know, yep. The YouTube an easy thing. Way to do it. Yeah. YouTube yeah. thing's building up and we're going to be putting more and more content on there. So that's going to be cool for folks too. To kind of mm-hmm. have that that avenue. So, is that the goal for twenty twenty four? Is to ramp it up? Oh yeah, we're gonna be ramping it up. It's all everything's always ramping up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. All right, so all right. Well, that's else? it. Yeah. I think no. that's it. No, I just want to. Well, yeah. Okay, hold on. I wanted to ask Andy about your dog. So you said it quick. You got your dog back. Yes. And you're gonna do. And you went on a hunt. Yeah, it was fantastic. Uh, Jordan, who we had on the show, yeah. um, he was his main trainer, and he got to bring his dog Gus out. So that was really cool that uh, on Kylo's first hunt, it was me and his trainer and his dog Gus. So did um, you listen to you or the trainer? Uh, he listened to the trainers, uh, and I, I wanted it that way because I, I didn't want to get in the way. Oh, you know, so you didn't even really do much. You were kind of just... Not really. Uh, he brought a few uh, retrieves back to me, but Kylo was awesome. Uh, he's a yellow lab, and he pointed, came to a couple of really good points. He did some really good flushes, and he retrieved all of them. Gotcha. And at the end of the day, between Jordan and I, we had 13 pheasants. Dang, wow, so that's yeah. successful. Cool. It was really good. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and so you're was... going to go on your own without Jordan soon. Yeah, okay. um, planning on it this weekend. So, and that's okay. you're talking about motivation and having a goal, right? Yeah, uh, it's kind of fun that well now I have to go on these hunts because you know we already invested all this time into mm-hmm. Kylo and he loves to do it, and you know, and then you get the payoff of dinner, you know. Heck yeah. So yeah, cool. Sent me, you sent me a picture of what you guys were cooking. It looked good. Yeah, yeah. We uh, posted a from field to table post on our uh, Facebook page. It mm-hmm. got a lot of traction and. Yeah, it look it looks good and it was good. Was yeah, it? Yeah, so. Yay. Cool. Cool. All so right, that's should, it. Should I try, try number try two? It again. Try yeah. number two to close yeah. this down. I might just keep talking. Are we done? <laughs> <laughs> let's let's wrap it up. <laughs> okay. All right. Closing Peace. it out. Later. So you